early worm catches the the grass. <laughs> I don't know. The early one catches the grass. <laughs> the grass roots. So, a little change in temperature. A little dress down today. Um, I don't know how to sound because I don't have the mic yet, but we are at the factory. We are at MD Labs. We are at the Rap Lounge. Down the inside, and we are on some car activities today. Big event. I'll probably pop a poster. You all would have probably have me. Um, you all would have probably seen me uh, post it online for like the past couple of weeks is an event i always wanted to go to for the longest while um and finally here yeah, we have a long drive to go we're just waiting on the uber chaser <laughs> to reach it. and um, they'll be making a truck but when i'm in warmer climate i'll just kind of give some more details <laughs> yeah i can still feel the breeze We are at Grassroots. I'll put the address. This is in New Jersey. I have no idea. We're past in New Jersey, but it's right across the the Verrazano Bridge. It's a little overcast, but like the weather like it's holding up. I, I, I want to believe it's not going to rain. I just really hoping for the sun to come up, which I believe might come up a bit later today. But yeah, some nice cars. I, I literally can't tell you. I don't know where to start, but you know, I'm going to pick some of the cars. So we'll start with the RX. And then you'll have to see the E36. I had to talk for this. So, when I was in primary school, I don't know how to convert what, what standard versus grade, just in case for those who watch the video from the US. Anyway, when I was in primary school, I had a teacher named Mr. Peters, and he used to drive one of these. Mr. Peters was a, was a very, very, very good teacher. Passed away though, um, but he used to have this, and it's the same, same, same spec. He, you used to know when Mr. Peters reached because he had full exhaust from Mirage Mitsubishi. I don't know why I like this car. <laughs> Nostalgic, you know? So you would have noticed the Chase have a new livery on it. So you have the Dragon. It is inspired by the Rap Factory always getting some kind of gifts from um, Japan and China, so 
Is that a little model? I wonder if I could just kind of, let me see if I could take this out and show you all. So the Chinese New Year, they said that 2024 is the year of the dragon. So you would notice some little dragon pieces of the vehicle. But this is, this is where the, the delivery was inspired by the wrap factory. Check them out, the social media page. You always have something, you always have something fun going on. Like when I just landed, he was working on the Diablo. Loki wanted to drive it. But my luck with my luck with differentials is this is not on the good side, but small little tidbit, yeah? So back to the car. Kaiser, would you be okay with coming to Trinidad and Tobago to take us on pictures for our exclusive event? Depends when it is. Oh, I'm guessing you have a busy schedule. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so while I would, I would message you then and yeah. see if you're interested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Message, message. Right. See if I can. Otherwise, I'll be sick. Oh, Alright, okay. I'll be sick. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm serious. It would be awesome. Yeah. I just, just figure out dates because I. I'm the next I will half of the this, year is... Yeah. Okay. Alright. Alright, we would see. We'll <laughs> Talk see. <soon>. We'll <laughs> So I hungry, right? And uh, thanks. This is um. Fucking amazing, man. Only know this cheese. Only know this cheese. Huh? Yeah, it's good. Mhm. Mm yeah, do what you can, bro. If I have anything inside of my mouth, just put it in the comments and I'll remove it. <laughs> All right, um, I didn't need no. Mm. Ooh, anytime I see a GTR, I just call it like a have to. It is a must. I like a nice little footage of it. Of course, if you didn't know, the Ram Factory did some work on this. Really, 
delivery and just kind of making sure things are in gear just before the event started. So I know it's like literally a rush job because he had this, he had the Diablo, he had the, the bands we need to do out, uh, interviewing the bands. Um, good vibes. The grassroots. <laughs> grassroots. The reason why I laugh is because we had like a whole 10 minute conversation, but we will try to wrap it up quickly. Uh, New Jersey grassroots, CJ from San Andreas. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> Uh, as I said in the beginning, there are a lot of one-on-one -on -one vehicles here. However, I believe, it's in my opinion, this is the most interesting one because it only have one of this here. Yes. Yes, right? we do. Um, he was giving a, a, a little breakdown as to how you acquire the vehicle. Um, let's give it one more time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? Well, we can go over it all. So this yeah. is a 1987 March 87B. Uh, Formula 3000 car that came out of Japan. So it raced in the Japanese series. Oh, okay. Team Speedstar Racing. So SSR wheels, if you're familiar with them, that was them. This was this car. Uh, the guy that bought it off auction out of Japan pulled the motor out, and the guy that I purchased it off of, instead of it having its original Cosworth DFV V8 Cosworth. in it, okay, yeah. they put a BMW V12 out of a 750 850Ci. So basically M73, M70, this is an M73 in the car. I have a question, mm -hmm. is it the same transmission? Different? No, so this is a transmission specifically for the car. This is a transaxle transmission, which Correct. is a five speed, yeah. uh, dog leg first gear with reverse. Right. Uh, so with that, it allows you to do um, everything you need to do. It also keeps it small. Ironically, the original weight of the car was 1275 with the DFV. Yeah. This car still retains its original weight Okay, with this okay, motor in okay. it so okay. it all worked out pretty well makes the same power but the cool thing is is that during the time this was a direct league below formula one which, so with yeah, that which yeah you said is that the formula one this yeah league. so at the time formula one and this yeah. were basically the same car yeah. except they had a restrictor valve in the motor that okay. restricted it to 450 horsepower right. instead of 600. so okay. The cool thing is, is that it's all kind of relatively as identical to it was. It is 16 inches longer. Yeah. Um, so it's a little bit longer than it should be. But other than that, it's how it should be. And you, well, you so, recently acquired it. Yes, I just bought it in October. Right. So the objective is with me is to take it on the track and compete. But I did um, become a member at New Jersey Motorsport Park where this car will be and on track because they have a series specific for open wheelers. So it allows me to be work my progression up yeah. because the previous owner raced this car a lot. Yeah. All over the West Coast and partially on the East Coast as well. Okay. Um, competed with it in the SVRA series and VARA yeah. series. So the objective is to bring it back. This car was really 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 fast when the guy was actually pushing the thing yeah and i'll be happy if i can get a quarter a quarter of the way there so a question what yeah. what date are you are planning to do that what? i don't know when i plan on doing it it all depends on a lot of other variables that i have going on that i don't want to talk about yet okay um but once that's all in wraps hopefully in the coming months it will be down there i do have to chase one small fuel leak but i think it's something very very small yeah. we're able to replicate it a few times so it should be fairly simple but, but no, but, yeah. But we have your contacts, so hopefully, yeah, once no, you give yeah. us a day, it would be nice to, to kind of document. Yeah, that no, I would love that. You. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm my, hope to yeah, the, we'll the Rap Factory bankroll. Yeah, the, the Rap Factory family will definitely <laughs> definitely know when this car is going out on track. I hope they can make it out. But <laughs> I'm very, very excited. It was one of those, I'd honestly say this is one of the most impromptu purchases of my life. Uh, <laughs> I found it by, by chance. Yeah. I was looking for others more i was like i want something that's historic somewhat signif significant yeah. um but something that i can't drive on the street like right. I, I was thinking about cup cars i was thinking about other gt cars yeah but it i wanted something that you don't see every day and then this popped up and it was a no-brainer for me so i'm nice. just fortunate enough to be in a position yeah. to make it all work and say it's mine and i i really cannot wait to put this on track because it's going to be outstanding be crazy all right chris Awesome. Well, hopefully, we'll yeah. see you soon yes, on the sir. track. Good vibes only. I, I, can, I can sit in it by chance now. Yeah, you can. It's pain in the balls, but you're more than welcome to sit in it. All right. I would clean everything out. Hold on one second. Yeah. If I were you, I'd take your shoes off, too. <laughs> so, you're going to step directly on the seat. Don't touch any of that. Yeah. 
Now you're gonna do like a reverse dip almost. So you're gonna do a dip and fish your feet all the way through. You'll uh, feel the pedals. Just don't hit the gas pedal. You still got a ways to go. You're not even there. Oh, I'm feeling the There you go. And then put your elbows in. Yep. And then. There you go. First things first, first time in a Formula One style car. Second thing is, those guys go through a lot of training to get out of the vehicle very quickly because it's going to take me a good five minutes to get back out. But for first, it's a good experience. All right, I'm feeling pressured now because not everybody watching me to Everybody's watching me to get out, and I know I'm going to take a while to come up. Yeah, it's going to take a while. So you basically <laughs> have to reverse take... the process. So you have to do another dip and put your feet underneath you, basically. Yeah. There you go. And then just step outwards Woo. and watch out for the yeah. floor. And like that, you're out. Damn. Okay. Not too bad. <laughs> Not too bad. But it kind of goes to show the, the work those guys in um, Formula One, like how much. Yeah, so. Yeah, because. The, the thing that I think, I'm not entirely sure the validity behind this, but I think the reason it's so narrow and hugs like the outer part of your shoulders yeah. and kind of makes you do, brings yeah. your shoulders up. So a lot of guys didn't wear Hans devices during Back this time. Day, yeah, so correct. it's a restrained neck movement and make correct. sure you have oh. no lateral movement. Okay, okay. So I got once you. in Hans device was actually, a, that, I, this is what I believe in. Yeah. I don't know if it's true. Uh, I think no, with it being when no it got wider, they had energies. yeah they yeah. had a Hans device later on, and then it allowed. But at, during this time, I don't, I don't, I do not believe they were using Hans devices, and that's why it was it's so tight just to keep you from moving from around. Moving, yeah. yeah, but I think this thing pulls a couple G's. I know it does. I just don't know exactly how many. But uh, Chris, hey Chris, <laughs> CJ, thanks, CJ, thanks again for the opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. And well, we here hold this. So I'll see you around. <laughs> I'll see you. Yeah. <laughs>see this guy don't need any kind of introduction because the only reason why I'm here is because company expenses <laughs> however just based on my observation I want to say it have one two three four it probably have let me say ten cars that has livery and I want to say it can probably have like six out of those cars right he would have the majority in terms of in terms of livery now this is a very exclusive event so first of all i need to congratulate her on on being able to you know to have such an impact with regards to that right <laughs> so we're next to one of them right the gran turismo academy what well, what inspired us so naturally the gran turismo car will be from the simulator of the movie gran turismo we wanted to do something era specific to this car but we couldn't come up with uh we didn't want to put an R35 because we had this available and a simple livery last minute, just something to 
to match and for people to all of all ages to be able to like relate to relate to this yeah. thing um so we came up with this concept very simple concept um it works this is also the owner's first uh first art r34 yeah and um it was fun it's a 99 gtt uh perfect livery for our academy car it would also translate to us as a training car training because it car. is it is it's not a monster it's a factory car yeah but it's just a well put together factory car and um other than that uh this just is, general fun this is an interesting idea for especially how the movie just came out right. too so it has that relation like when somebody say they'll be like hey you know but in the movie was the r35s right? correct well, yes. yeah, yeah so so like I said, you have a couple cars, so let's move on. Follow. I'll do the tow hammer here. Just. <laughs> that works. Tow hammer. The tow, tow hammer. So, we have one of two. So, I know Anthony. Right. Anthony will have one. Phil. I know, but based on how Phil talks, he saw he full 100 tracker. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. Um, what inspired this one? Like, what so, Phil, so this car is actually originally a tennis green. It looks like a tennis ball. Right. And Phil called me up and he said, listen, tired of seeing this tennis ball. He wants a different idea, full creative, uh, whatever, yeah. inspiration. So I told him, you know, let's try a couple of ideas. He called me back and he said, let's do the Marlboro livery. And uh, we changed it up naturally. So we did a 30% of the, a 3070. Yeah. So, um, we also use all companies that support us as all small local businesses. Mm -hmm. So Phil Zero is, he builds cars. Right. Um, Hudson Stables is, a, as the name says, Hudson Stables is a place yeah. that stores cars and keeps cars for collectors. Exo, Exo Shield. Exo Shield, shout Exo out to Kiel and uh, Kyle and Kyle. Dave at uh, Exo Shield. <laughs> See you at CMA this year. Mm -hmm. um, RKT Motorsports, the usual Texaco Commodore is actually the brand of the wheel and um, the grassroots for having us as usual for this show. Um, this is another V6 engine in the rear. This is number number 19 of a uh, thousand. They have, they have the tag? Yeah, tag right oh, there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, number yeah, 19 tag. of 1100. Okay. So, uh, full straight tracker, sequential, shifter all the usual fun that comes with it and uh so we just it sounds very aggressive when yeah. you're driving it yeah and we uh so we had a chance to do something clever with it and a marlboro livery is i don't think any of us even smoke marlboro but <laughs> I don't it, smoke. it was just a, a great idea for it's a timeless and an era specific yeah. uh, livery you know so it it worked well the crowd seems to love it and uh we're moving forward yeah it, it definitely um it definitely stands out yeah with regards to um, all the other vehicles yeah and i mean it's uh it is a timepiece mm -hmm. livery too as well um I, I don't know how i don't know how the hell they get the hands of a picture especially a rally art this look like it's, it's the full the full version i only saw I only saw videos of it online you're going to the gas station but it, it didn't have this livery on it it did not have this livery up to the day before yesterday yeah so bj which is one of the guys from saint lucia who came in he was actually really really cool to help us with i had a serious uh creativity block yeah i wasn't coming up with anything and because the time was so short for it i didn't get a chance to and uh he came up with it along with the guys from dial which is uh daryl strawberry in there over there and yeah. um we came up with this livery again. It is a 93 Lombard Rally that yeah. we did a little uh, change to, excuse me. And um, it ended up being a trailer, a tow car for this, this event. Yeah. Um, again, this was all done in space. This was out. like Yeah, this was, this last was like, minute. yeah, last minute, but the best of the best. This was one of the most fun liveries I have ever came up with and worked you know, changing the magic up a little bit. We yeah. did Takata stickers instead of the Mitsubishi oil authentic yeah. sticker. Yeah. And uh, again, press for time, so. But it, it works. works though, because it, it from how it is, I saw it, because it was plain. Right. I know this was last minute. Mm. Sometimes we do get creativity blocked, but they were still able to, they were still, they were still able to pull it off. Yes, unlock um, some mushrooms and pull it off. Yeah. <laughs> yes, 
Um, the next, well, I don't want to go through all the vehicles. The what was it? What was it take on the on on the Lamb on the Lambo? Is it still here? The Lamborghini is yeah, let's, let's still here. So let's do it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, you, what is what is Peaches? Peaches Original is a clothing line, an international clothing line. Yeah. And uh, they asked to be a part of this for advertising purposes. Right. And it just, it, they're actually are really, really well known. They were at SEMA with us uh, a couple of years ago. A couple ago. years ago, yeah. So it is definitely a, a, a force, but there's a force purely related to cars then. If it's not a car, a car thing, Peach is not. Oh, so it's, yeah, okay. It's, it's a purely a car related. But it's a, it's a clothing line? It's a clothing line, yes. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. How, how was it working on something as exclusive as a, a, a Diablo? So the Diablo, as fun as it is, it is a very difficult car to do art on. Yeah. Purely because it well, is such a timeless car. Yeah. It is such a beautiful car. And it's like the imagination on this car was spent all the way. Yeah. They, 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 in the Gran Turismo account, they spent all the money on it. <laughs> so it, you can't really come up with a concept for it that wouldn't hurt the, wouldn't hurt the body lines, the body wouldn't line, hurt the yeah. creativity. So we actually came up with about four or five different designs for this and yeah. I personally wasn't feeling the connection to the car and yeah. eventually I just said, you know what, Let's keep it I'm not though. doing it, we're going to do less is more with this and yeah. it actually worked out, it was a big hit, um, it is the V12 model, yeah. dialed in, was nice enough to uh, pick it up and deliver it to us yeah. and um, I, I had a blast nonetheless, the, the people love it. The, the passerby love it at the shop. Everything was great. Yeah, and uh, they, they have uh, Daryl over there. That is actually the owner of the car. And yeah. uh, Daryl, Daryl, windows. Hey, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> feeling like a slide. Give me one second. Let me just grab you this. Slide. So you have a slide, slide, slide. slide, slide. Is I mean, the seats are so. You're not supposed to rain today, but. Check out the, check the door now. <laughs> I'm just here for aesthetics. <laughs> very, very, very interesting. Let me see. Yeah, that door sucks. I've had it fall on my head. Did it fall on your head? Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so well, I know this is obviously this is like a one of one kind one of thing. One of one kind of thing for sure, yeah. Um, so there is the Formula One vehicle, so I know you yeah. did as well. I probably just put a, a, a B road shot of yeah. it. Absolutely. Um, I just want to say I give it your flowers, like you know, keep up the good work. Yeah. I know we always have the shenanigans, you have to. yeah, <laughs> but keep up the good work. Come in fear, yes, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Icy Vibes, Rap Factory, Grassroots, New Jersey. It's a little overcast, we get a little drizzle, but I feel like it, it, it might clear up in a bit. That's all carry. That's yeah. all carry. Blessings. Blessings. Ooh, we didn't start talking about the chaser. The Yeti Dragon. There we go, let me run. The Yeti, just now, the Yeti Dragon. Um, I see you have like a little, well, I showed it in the video before. Right. Where you got that little trinket, the little, the little so, box. This little box actually was something that uh, a good friend of mine, John Sharkey, we did a Hot Wheels convention and this was a car that one of his friends actually was nice enough to give us and um, it's based on an R35 GTR. So this year turned out to be year of the Dragon and um, the colors just actually worked and we ended up coming up with this, this uh, concept. Yeah. Uh, we did use you know, 64 as the the company of choice because it's their artwork and you know yeah. they, they give respect where respect due. Mm -hmm. And um, other than that, it is the Adam L Z Chaser. Mm -hmm. uh, also, thank you to um, Ichiban for letting us always horse run around. the car, horse <laughs> around with the car, do do fun fun things and fun events. Uh, wish you all the best this year in, in Peru and uh, doing Formula D. Yeah. And. Um, other than that, the regular 1JZ action, you know, the usuals. Yeah, yeah. Uh, gears banging, diff, solid diff mount, shaking, <laughs> and 
general horseplay at its all time high. So, yeah, so that's the vibes. Um, like I say, keep up the good work. Like, good vibes. Keep up only. the good work, and it's good vibes only. Um, we're getting a little, a little, little drizzle, so. Um, we still have one more thing to do, but I guess we have to wait yeah. on that. So, in the meantime, check out some cars. Um, yeah. Alright, so oh, man. another interesting vehicle, and I, I believe, at least for me, is the, the color is what stands out. Um, I'm here with Daryl, KJ. Nice to meet you. Uh, I know you have a couple cars here. I do. And, uh, well, we saw the Diablo in the shop, but I want to get a little more story on this vehicle. Right, so uh, 92 Carrera M491 Turbo mm -hmm. Look Wide Body Car. Yeah. Uh, it's actually a part of the Porsche Special Wishes program, yeah. so Sonderwoosh. Uh, so the car is actually raspberry metallic uh, yeah. with a raspberry uh, interior, full yeah. interior to sample, so extended leather all over the car. Right. Um, I've been importing for six or seven years now. Yeah. Um, bought this thing last summer, and it was the first car, you know, most of the cars that we do, you know, inspections, you know, networking friends. Yeah. So we'll get photos, buy them, ship them in. This was a special enough car that warranted me getting on the ground, shaking the gentleman's hand. I bought this in the south of Germany. It was his lake house car, uh, wow. him and his wife. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they just, they bought it new, loved it there. Um, and so I flew out, met him, bought it uh, yeah. in person, shook his hand, slapped uh, export tags on the car and drove it all over Germany, Switzerland, all the way back up to Amsterdam over right. the course of three or four days uh, and put it in a container and shipped it home. Jeez, how long did it take to reach? In the, uh, in the, US in the, the States? Yeah. Uh, so I sent a container. We have done air freight, uh, but container is six to eight weeks on these cars. Okay, 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 okay. And everything is original. This is like. As you see it, factory speed lines, factory, again, M491 is the turbo wide body on yeah. a non turbo car. Uh, so okay. as you see it. Okay. This is, this, this is very interesting. Yeah. This is very interesting. And give me a little breakdown on the, the Diablo. So the Diablo. Let's say this, this, this yeah. walk. So the Diablo, I think you mentioned that the engine was... Yes, so the, so the Diablo is another Swiss delivered uh, car. Um, right. This is somebody's rendition of a SE30 body kit. Right. Um, you know, totally, totally a fake and a sham. But I was looking for a nicer V12 and yeah. you know, the price point was really hard to kind of get my hands on something. The opportunity presented itself, uh, what was it, seven or eight months ago yeah. um, to get into this. And it kind of checked all the boxes. I wanted something yellow. I wanted something V12 and manual. Um, and it had high miles. But oh. when, I got, uh, when I got all of the paperwork, I had found out that it sat dormant for about 10 years uh, right. in a basement in Switzerland. The owner had passed. Um, and right before he had passed, he had rebuilt the motor. Oh, okay. So, so you got it fresh. So I got it fresh. It had like yeah. five or 600 kilometers on it. Yeah. Um, we had Lamborghini of Kramer in Germany go through the car systematically. Right. All of, you know, filters, fluids, belts, miscellaneous. Yeah. Um, and they delivered it to me maybe two months ago. And uh, this is actually its first outing. Do you have to, is there still a break in period with the engine or that was? So as, as Jason from Kramer told me, there is no break in procedure. He yeah. told me just let it sing. Um, the more important thing I think was the heat cycling, you know, uh, bringing it back to life over a certain, you know, 10 year period. Okay. Um, okay. But it's ready for me to beat on. Okay. 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 How is the, well, is the first time I haven't uh, seen one in person. So just kind of give me an idea of the drivability. Like how does it feel? Like what is, what is your feedback? Because it's 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 a uh, I want to say it's an unusual wheelbase, yes. especially the big engine in the back. Yeah, the drivers kind of all the way up in front. So I'm in you know I'm in the shipping industry. I, I manage a lot of the you know larger collections locally, yeah. um, and so I always compare this car to the F40 that you know a couple of my customers have okay. you know traded okay. on and off. Yeah. Um, you know, the F40, if you put this next to it, it's so much smaller, right? I don't have much seat time in that, but having a little bit of seat time in this, it's raw. It's it's unethical in a sense. It's just a big fiberglass, <laughs> square stock, you know, steel tube chassis. Yeah. Um, it drives exactly like it looks. Uh, 
it's it's an experience. I don't know. At least in the realm of what I have done, yeah. like no other. I, you know, a buddy of mine has an SV, and so when I had actually picked up the Raspberry car, yeah. uh, he let me drive his SV on the autobahn, oh. and so that my first experience with one of these cars <laughs> was immediately to 180 <laughs> miles an hour. So that got me sold on the chassis pretty quick. Okay. Um, and promptly following, I purchased this car. Okay. Um, in regards to the driving experience, I, like I said, I don't have much seat time with this one, yeah. but man, I mean, it's it's lethargic. It, it's, it, it's just super, you know, you can tell that it was in an era of research and development. Okay, you like know what I mean? Driver's car. Exactly yeah, right. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. cool driver's car. I mean, it's nothing like the new stuff, but I don't want the easy stuff. I yeah. like I like the experience and yeah. this definitely provides an experience. You want that feedback. Oh, you, yeah. you definitely have feedback. It was yeah. about a 60 mile drive from my house this morning over here. Mm. Uh, my girlfriend drove the 964 and I drove this and even 50, 60 miles an hour on the highway, <laughs> you know, you just feel the weight in the steering wheel and yeah. you know, it's it's a really cool thing. And I'm, I'm hoping to put more miles on it and be able to further explain what I think of this thing. All right, well, thanks for the time. Yeah, man. Well, I'm looking forward to see what next year brings. Absolutely. <laughs> Season closer, I've got seven or eight of them ready to rock. Jeez. <laughs>
So hopefully see you soon. This is Grassroots Victoria, thank you. Thank you. you take any time and well we're gonna walk around still mm -hmm. and you know shake some hands and good vibes only. Yeah?